Good morning, Calvary, and welcome to your word for the day. My name is Pastor Mitch, and today we're going to be looking at Genesis chapter 42, verses 1 through 25. And in today's text, we get to see the beginning of Joseph's journey of forgiveness begin to play out. If you haven't had the chance to follow along with Joseph's story over the last few episodes, Joseph was betrayed by his brothers who had sold him into slavery as a young man. You know, then he spent his life in a foreign country, surrounded by strangers, and then he was again betrayed and ended up going to prison for a while before eventually finding himself as the chief administrator for the king pharaoh. He eventually settles down and gets married and he has kids and all the while he's probably worked through a lot of his pain and grief until he feels like it's all behind him. Then one day as you will read in today's chapter he finally gets to see his brothers again. And at that point, I'm sure that all those emotions he thought that he had worked through or buried, they come rushing back. And we see Joseph begin to work through dealing with those emotions again, working through the pain, the anger, and the heartache that their sin caused. To some extent, I think that all of us know what it is like to wrestle with forgiveness. Maybe you have found yourself saying or even thinking that I could never forgive that person. Naturally, people don't like to and frankly don't want to forgive. We want to hold on to bitterness because we think that if I forgive the people who have hurt me, then I'm condoning their actions. I'm saying that what they did is okay. And that's not true at all. See, God is the judge and he will judge appropriately. Bitterness, lack of forgiveness, and grudges, they often harm the one holding on to them the most. Scripture teaches us that if we're going to be recipients of God's grace, then we must also give grace to others. See, Jesus gives the challenge that if we don't forgive others, it may even be proof that we've never truly received God's forgiveness ourselves. The truth is that bitterness, unforgiveness, and anger, they are a heavy load to carry. As a Christian, uh, we need to choose forgiveness because our great God has chosen to forgive us. I want you to think of someone who has hurt you. And have you forgiven this person? Do you feel as though forgiveness is unattainable in this situation? If so, what makes you say that? Take time to uh, list things that God has forgiven you for. And since you have received grace and the forgiveness of God, who do you need to extend grace and forgiveness to today? If I'm gonna be a receiver of God's forgiveness, then I must also be a giver of that forgiveness as well. Thank you for tuning in to your work for the day. Like and share this video and we will see you tomorrow.